let's get going. Hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to Serious Sam 4. I've actually only ever played the first game of this, and that was like years and years ago, like six years ago, uh, with a bunch of friends. Never hit YouTube, I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna very quickly turn some things up. FOV needs to be at 90 for me to feel comfortable. Weapon, view bobbing, weapon bobbing, interesting. I might want to mess with some of those, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see, apply changes. Man, there's a lot of, these are a lot of settings. I love it. Uh, let's see, blood and gore, red. Oh, cool, hippie. Kids, non-Halloween, Halloween. We're going into October, it's necessary. Uh, let's see, damage numbers, eh, Gibbs, sure. Subtitles, on. Auto save, hold the aim. Man, I, I gotta say, games that give you this level of, we're gonna just turn off voice. I'm never gonna play this with voice. Oh, multiplayer mod. A hey, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, I guess we'll be Serious Sam future because none of these matter. I was hoping there'd be more skins than that. Uh, let's see, anything else? That's good. Advanced options. I like this. Those are a lot of settings. Wait, there's eye tracking. Interesting. I wonder why. Well. We're gonna get going. I'm just gonna play the main campaign for a little while and see if it's fun. I'm sure it is. From what I remember, it's it's real good. It's just... I don't know. I, how would I describe Serious Sam if you never heard of it before? It's what Duke Nukem probably could have and should have been, had it not been whatever it ended up being. That's probably the best way to describe it. Anyway, I'm just gonna throw us on normal? Probably normal. I just want to shoot stuff. Let's see, Chapter Zero, Man vs. Beast. Yeah, maybe at some some point I'll play through these games, because I know they're fun, especially with a bunch of friends. I remember the original games, you really had to crank up the ammunition, though, if you're playing with a bunch of people, because I don't remember having enough ammo. I could be wrong. Wander started watching you a long time ago, which is how you found Rhapsody, which is how you found Rita, which is what got you back to me. Hey, well, welcome back. Say hi to them when you drop by their sides as well. I don't know. I have nothing to say during load screens. Load screens are the worst for me. It's it's just this large indeterminate block of time. Like if I knew it was going to be 30 seconds and I was like, okay, this is this is the time that I can fill the space with dialogue. 30 30 second sound bite, we're good. But all I have is this meter that slowly fills up and it stalls. And so I'm sitting here being like is that last chunk going to be two minutes, or is it going to be ten seconds? I have no idea. At least we're not back in the early 2000s and late 90s when it would actually start going back down, because that was a certain hell. At least this one lets you confirm so I can finish my thought. Of course, I don't need to finish my thought. I could keep Hello, talking, folks. but then this I get it. This is in Bill Corwin on Radio Free Earth with the news. In the ongoing Tunguska offensive, EDF troops are being pushed back further toward Irkutsk. Meanwhile, we're four weeks into the occupation of France, and we're starting to get reports of local resistance cells re-establishing communications with... I was going to be a vidcaster on Alpha Centauri. I had it all planned out. I even had the equipment. I was a cook. Nothing fancy. I just like to cook. Did I want to be a soldier? Fuck no. I could have been a wrestler. Or a porn star. Or both. I studied frogs. Frogs are amazing creatures. I told them there was something out there, but no one believed me. You know what's funny? I used to be a pacifist. The truth is, they don't care about who we used to be or what we wanted to do. To them, we're just slaves. But if they thought this was gonna be easy, they came to the wrong fucking planet. Just me or does he look a little thin? Okay, time to mess with the audio settings because they're a little quiet and the guns are a little loud. Alright. Audio, sound effects. Lower. That's still pretty loud. That's more reasonable. Ish? No, it's not. Why? How? What the hell? Alright. Bare minimum. Oh my gosh. Well, alright, I'm playing this now. It's not like it's much of anything. I'm just gonna head for the big guys. 
Because what else, what the hell else do I aim for? I don't know. Are these bad boys? I, whoop. I think something got caught there. Do I just have, oh, I do not have unlimited ammo. Gosh. Who wants to bet I die? Yep, there we go. Yeah, it set the master volume down, but I want to be able to hear the voice acting. And if I can't hear the voice acting, then I might as well just turn it off entirely. And so it's kind of this really bad, horrible, horrible balancing act that I just have to figure out. It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. So when did the original Serious Sam come out? It was like ages ago, yeah? Because I, I know Crow Team's been a while uh, around for a long time. Hell, they even made a puzzle game, Talos Principle, and I think a roguelike that I never got into, and some other ones. So I remember I heard about it. It was back on Windows XP. Damn! One of the enduring AA studios that still exists. Yeah, I know Talos Principle is good. I'd like to play Talos Principle someday. I just know it's a long game. AAA. Insurance. gonna rendezvous with a priest. Yep. Because he knows where to find the Ark of the Covenant. Yep. Which contains the Holy Grail. Yep. Which is an alien artifact. Yep. So we have to go to the Vatican. Yep. Uh... That's AAA, rookie. Get used to it. I don't know. This is some Da Vinci Code shit, man. Huh. You don't like the Da Vinci Code, Sam? Nah. Why not? Some good theories in there. No literary merit. So, um, uh, who's your favorite writer? Uh, Philip K. Dick, I guess. Philip K. Dick? Wait, Sam reads books? Shit, guys, guys, you got incoming! Great. Okay, so it turns out, uh, graphics options. P uh, performance? No, max FPS. There we go. Does that fix it? Sam? Anyone? I'm here. What's happening? We got hit hard. Convoy's foobar. Gotta regroup and get out of here, or get out of here and regroup. Whatever. Casualties? Driver's dead. Rookies. I'm alive, I think. So, Rookie, what's your name? Kenneth, sir. All right, Kenny. Relax. We're gonna kill us some aliens. Okay. To explain why that was a slideshow, a lot of games, uh, Did don't you miss me? Whoa! Okay, so the sound settings have completely changed now that we're here. The voice acting is way too, uh, oops. The voice acting is way too loud, and the everything else is way too quiet. Wild. Okay. Because I didn't miss you. Cripes. I, I think cuts Sir, um... I think my gun broke. Don't worry, kid. I got this covered. Okay. A little bit more down. Okay. Sound effects need to go down a little bit, and then we're good to go. Okay. Uh, so I had uncapped FPS, which makes uh, OBS freak out in a really bad way. Sometimes. Not always. And so by limiting it, we're good. All right. So I got a sprint. We're good. Pretty basic. Now, what kind of supercomputer do you need to run this in good settings? Not actually that high. It's fairly forgiving. The main issue is just uh, recording it at unlimited FPS might not be doable normally. That's what it is. 
Anyway, uh, sir, sorry about these that. These Octanian Harvester Leviathans are a lot bigger than I imagined. It's not the size, kid. It's how you use it. I once killed a clear with a nail clipper. These things, are they? Yep. The processed. Humans turned into cannon fodder for Mintel's horde. Cute, aren't they? How, how can we help them? Apply bullets as needed. Oh, that's Kenny. Oh, gosh. They have seen considerably better days. I should probably keep more of an eye out for secrets. I know they have them in these games. And I know it's worthwhile to look for them. Same time, I kind of just want to run a gun. Oh, shit. Where are you? Fun. And these guys don't have heads. There's no point in aiming for them. I like this. I almost feel like this is the kind of game that would benefit from glory kills, but having glory kills with bullets somehow? I'm not going to question it too hard. Oh, Shotgun, yeah. bullets, I could health. really use a gun. Copy that, but this is a toy for big boys. Oh, I have a knife and a shotgun. Gotcha. All right. Anyway, if you've never heard of the Serious Sam series before, they are just kind of gratuitous violent, violent simulators. They're not going to be in the same vein as, like, Doom, for example. I really should probably kill that guy so I actually have some ground clearance. There we go. What have we got in here? Not too much. I want to turn the graphic settings down by a smidge. But still. But run around, you shoot stuff, rinse, repeat. That's what it is. There's a plot, I guess. I don't know what it is, and I don't feel like I'm going to miss out too much by not knowing what it is. Surprised if there's a Easter egg with killing Kenny. Possibly. That's now, fun. you can also take out the Kanar with your bare hands, but for larger groups, go for a shotgun or assault rifle. If I had a gun, any gun. I like how we're teaching poor Kenny how to do anything, refusing to give him the gun. I... And remember, kid, Belchers explode, so stay clear of their barf radius. Barf radius? Look, it's not a scientific term, but it works for me. Let's see, is there anything back here? No. Actually, it's kind of hard to watch for some reason. I I don't know if it's a motion blur. I'm going to just keep poking at the settings until this works. Uh, let's see. Nothing there. Performance? Nope. Seriously, can I not change this stuff? Hmm. Wait. Advanced options. Oh. Weapon wheel scale. I was kind of hoping it was just weapon scale. Graphics settings? Here we go. Performance. Nope. That doesn't give me anything. Do we not have a... Yeah, it could be motion sickness settings. I could I can mess with that for a second. Here, I'll just turn both of these off. There's also a third person. Huh. Oh, shoot. I'm just going to try turning the bobbing off. We'll see what see if that does anything. In increase field of view. No, it's as I it's as I sweep the camera back and forth. I tend to turn real quick, and for some reason that doesn't look great on the most realistic Sir, of games. Sir, if I remember correctly, the map in the mission briefing showed an EDF storage facility just over this wall. Huh? Maybe I should start reading that stuff. Sir, um, I still don't have a gun, so please hurry up. You carry a sidearm with you, kid. Okay, we got a bark boy. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna just run out in the dis. Wow. I don't think I did that. I think he did that. Well, doesn't seem like there's a downside to that happening. I think I heard something. 
Uh, it's probably nothing. Let's pop down here, see what we got. Okay. There we go. Well, luckily these guys are just keen to just hang out and wait for me. Nothing more. Hello, what do we have in here? Was this an alternate alternative way in? Or is it just kind of a bonus zone? Well, you know what? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Oh, that's how you weapon wheel. Got it. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything cool in here. I'm always looking for the cool bits. Unfortunately, I don't think this game does, like, gun upgrades or really major secrets. It's, from my experience, it's usually either getting a cool gun early or, like, more armor. But then again, my only experience with this game is a long time, long, long time ago. And also the first one, so I could be very wrong on so many different levels. And you know what? I'm okay with being wrong. It means there's still a thrill of discovery here and there as I discover that I my preconceived notions are so very incorrect. Hello, folks. This is Bill Corwin on Radio Free Earth with the news. Hollow decoy. Distracts enemies. Making them fire on hologram instead of... Okay, got it. Makes, makes sense. In the ongoing Tunguska offensive, EDF troops are being pushed back further toward... Our EDF. Coast. Meanwhile, we're four weeks into the occupation of France, and we're starting to get reports of local resistance cells re-establishing communication with the EDF. Lord Ackerman, Mintel's chief lackey in Europe, continues being a dickhead, so that's not actually news. <laughs> What's that doing there? Hold on. I'm getting an update. It looks like a fleet of Octanian raiders is zeroing in on Rome. So if you're anywhere in or near that area, now would be a good time to get the hell out of there. I repeat, if you're in or near Rome, evacuate now. Good luck to you all. Eh. If there's more, I don't know. Is this anything? No. That anything? No. I don't know how much I want to look for secrets. I could, and maybe there's a benefit to it. Or I can just go fast. We're Sonic the Bullet Hog. Oh, thank God you're back. Hi. Can I get up here? <sighs> nope. It's worth a shot. I don't see an easy way to get up here. So maybe I have to double back or something. No. Hmm. Like it looks like there's an area... ...to scale. To get up here, I clearly see armor. I'm pretty sure I can't can't do that. Unless. What if we No. I don't know. Hardcore parkour can wait for later and for other people. For me, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna forge on ahead. Once again, whatever the goodies in here. We will find later. Nice! Um, could I have a gun now? You know, it's funny, but usually when I pick up one of these things... Ah, there they are! Yeah, this is stuff. I'm not a big fan of double barrels, but this and Doom have fast enough reload speeds that it doesn't feel too bad. A lot of other ones, not so much, so. It's a good game with Why won't terrible... Why open? Because it is an advanced automatic security gate, of course. Who was that? It is I, Professor Gottlieb Kiesel, your scientific advisor. Guten Tag. Does he always call in at random like that? 
I think he just gets bored. Okay, let's just... Oh, boy. That's some bad boys. That's some hurty bad boys. Oh, man. Shotguns actually have range in this game. That's nuts. And extremely uncommon. Normally when I play games, shotguns are extremely effective in a very short radius. And then after that, they're completely, completely worthless. I can actually just pepper a dude down into non-existence. That feels good. Hmm. It's gonna bother, bother me. Oh, well. Hello. Damn, one of these things already? I They look nice. Oh, look! It's an angry steak. Why are these cows so angry? Might as well save some ammo. Is he actually in danger? Aha! Really? Huh. Dang. I, that is such a... That's such a wasted Bullseye. opportunity to have a secret on uh, the other side of that. Looks like that was the last of them. The gate's open now. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll, ta I'll take a tip. How do you get into that secret area, just so I know what to look for? Okay, getting warmer. So, oh. Hold up. Aha! Okay, so here's one. Secret armor has been found. Damn it. Okay. So that was one of the two secret armors. It's also a secret rocket launcher at the start of the level. Alright, you know what? Lead me. Show me where these secrets are. For they are now bothering me. Because I've totally, totally missed them. Normally I'm like, nah, no backseating. But at this point, secrets are hard to find. Well, I found a life. Probably healing item. Gosh. The amount of stuff. Yeah, I I don't know how to feel too much about backseating with this one. Uh, on one hand, I think it's mainly just when it gets really egregious that it starts to become a problem for me. Uh, but if I've cleared, like, a significant portion, I'm turning around to look for stuff. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, search the start area for a secret. I'll take that. I'm just trying to decide which of these areas is the start area. Cause I, I feel like I'm... Yeah, 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 yeah. We never did figure out where that armor was. That's okay. Yeah, I checked out... I checked out all of these areas. Gosh. I... Traversed a hell of a lot more distance than I thought I did. I do appreciate how dang quick we are, though. Like, compared. Okay, there we go. Comparatively, we move zippy fast. Oh, 
Stop there. Ooh. Now that doesn't look like anything. Okay, so yeah, this is this is where we crashed. Pretty sure there's no, not going to be anything else in here. Oh, man. I don't think I'm going to want to go out of my way for too many secrets. Maybe the biggins. Like, I see a cable there. That seems like something I should interact with. I think the... I don't think the cable's it. Oh, hi? No, no torches. Hmm. It's not going to be hiding in a barrel, is it? That would be dirty shit. I see a bunch of torches here. There. Oh. There we go. Really does not look like much of a rocket launcher. Gosh. That's... That's sneaky. Yeah, I would not have found that one. Alright. And then there's still that armor, but at this point, I don't care too much. It's just armor. I'm probably going to be fine just playing the game. I might not ever be that close to full health. But I do want to make some progress. Stuff like the rocket launcher. Okay, let me let me know if I, I pass big secrets with big weapons or something. But past that point, eh. Let's see, can you rocket jump? <laughs> I'm a weak little baby man. This game doesn't uh, really seem to do a whole lot of... Harvester drone. Is, is that how they turn us into... The processed? Yep. Mothership sucks you up. Spits out a tentacle brain killing machine. I guess mental's really into recycling. Oh, nothing back over there. Poor guy has seen me pick up... I mean, my deagle, which I started with. And two shotguns and now a rocket launcher. Well, okay, I just pieced out and came back with the rocket launcher, but still. Be kind of amusing if you could give him a gun no matter what. Are these bad boys? These are bad boys. Not anymore. Bad boys, they ain't. They ain't. Yeah, if you get them in the head, they pop satisfyingly. I thought there was another one. There we go. Hello. Oh. oh gosh, they are weird. They are weird, actual octopus boys. Why even have an advertising drone for oh, that? Also, shut up. Also, tr oh come on, really? Okay, we can definitely climb this. Yeah, the problem is, after a certain point, we just lose all momentum there. Well. Nope. No rocket jumping. Hmm. Sprint jump. I thought I was doing a sprint jump. Nope. Was not. Alright, there we go. Gosh. We might actually end up having too many weapons here. Sam, I'm getting a signal from Father Mikhail. I'll upload the coordinates to your Nutrixa. All right. One ecclesiastical extraction coming right up. Ecclesiastical extraction? Good one. I like the dialogue. They could have made him a silent protagonist, and that would have been boring. This feels better. Man, I can only imagine watching a speedrunner play one of these games is nuts. 
Ooh. I should keep my eye out. See if there's a... Uh... I should see if there's any good... Any good, like, GDQ runs of the Serious Sam games. Man, I wonder if there'd be, like... Nah, I doubt it. That's a weird and kind of cool flesh mech. I wonder if there's any, like, H player... Ooh, finally! Nope. Any eight player super co op Serious Sam speedruns. Because I could see that being incredibly fun or a bit of a pain. I don't know. I, I could see it being a pain to like pull off, but the execution would be magic to watch. I don't know any lore. Do I need to? Aliens are invading Earth. That's about all I know. I, I'm right there with you. I know nothing about this game. I know it's got guns, and I know it's fun to run and shoot. I came from that direction, didn't I? Yeah, so hopping back. Probably not the most conducive. Oh! And there's the Wilhelm scream. Now, was that a human or is that an alien? Does he have a skull in his oh, forehead? Sir, I think I he does. That thing. It's a scrapjack. Let me take it apart so you can have a closer look. Well, gotta say, having a linear shotgun is incredibly fun. <laughs> There's also that. It's really satisfying just sprinting through a small hailstorm of bullets and rockets. Not a lot of games get that... Ow. Get that right. Of course, that still means I need to dodge properly. Dang. Homeboy, uh, didn't want to go down. What if you could do a run on this with a knife? Is there still an enemy around here? There is. Got him. Alright, so that armor that I probably spotted earlier... Sir, I think that's it for now. ...is accessible here. So... That was actually a hint for come back to this later, as opposed to I can't get to it. I like that. Okay, what else do we got around here? I think I cleared out this zone. Maybe. There might be more than this. I don't want to spend forever searching searching for goodies when, you know, they're only so so helpful. Let's see. So it wants me to go there, so I should probably check that out last. Anything back over here? I'd like to get my HP back. It was there to troll you, so you try and get it. I It got me good. It got me good. We haven't crossed this bridge here. Yeah. Okay, this might be something. Nope. All right, fair enough. I guess we got a little bit that we skipped over here. There we go. Uh, I see a little bit more. I like the fact that all this stuff is fairly visible from a distance, so I don't have to wander too far to get it. Let's see. Is this continuously worth my time? Wait. Yeah, yeah, I've checked out all of this stuff. Boy, that's gonna throw me off. I... I love the Halo games, because they always felt like they were super open games, just like this. But there's never that feeling of like, man, I gotta search every nook and cranny for the good stuff. On the flip side, there is a certain satisfaction to finding all the good stuff that makes it worth it. And it's interesting watching games evolve in two completely different directions. Yeah. <laughs> 
In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Ah, oh, it's Father Grigori, but not. I, I thought there was supposed to be convoy. I am the convoy. Hi, I'm Kenny. Hellfire, we're ready for extraction. I'm picking up Rodriguez and Jones at the Piazza della Repubblica. Meet me there? It's a date. Father, grab your stuff. Let's not keep the lady waiting. I have my shotgun and my faith, son. I am already packed. Time bonus. Who cares about that? Yeah, you do not simply walk into Ravenholm. Ravenholm still freaks me out to this day. At some point, I will do a full franchise run of the Half-Life games. If they announce properly a Half-Life 3 coming out, I I know that's insane. But, I mean, they had Alex, so there's that. Uh, but if they actually do announce a Half-Life sequel successor properly, oh boy. You better bet I'll play that. Half-Life 3 question mark exclamation mark. I mean, who knows? Maybe. I would like that. Have you experienced the Legion system yet? I have no idea what that is. Death from above, death from below. Alright, and with this, I think this is a pretty good stopping point, at least for this episode. I'm just going to pick a uh, section from uh, a later episode that I rather liked. Uh, get ready to hear a lot of that screaming noise, but I'm honestly, that's part of this game's charm. I, look, it's kind of hard to talk over, but I love it all the same. What other game has it that you just have, like, a legion of dudes carrying bombs in both hands, running after you, just going, ah, forever? And that's, that's the beauty of Serious Sam. I feel kind of bad that I never really put a whole lot of time into the previous games, because honestly, from what I've experienced so far, I'm pretty impressed and I can't wait to play more, especially because there's that little bit of a leveling system. You know, I've got dual wielding pistols in this clip, but eventually, you know, maybe dual wielding rocket launchers, chain guns, so on and so forth. Like, that sort of thing could get really cool, and I can't wait to see, you know, how that would turn out to be. Especially the Legion system, which I looked up, which is supposed to have, like, hundreds or thousands of enemies on the screen at once, which, you know, I... Look, anything that gets close to EDF, anything that has EDF, as part of it, even if it's not the EDF that I know and love. Hey, you know what? That scores some major brownie points, and I love it. And it's also just goofy fun. I I think, honestly, yeah, this this is... If EDF was a genre, EDF and Serious Sam would be two top contenders in there. Probably World War Z, that'd be the other one I can immediately think of. Just mowing down large hordes of enemies. There's something special about it, I don't know. And the weapons feel real good. And the music, too. I haven't really talked about it too much, but the music for this game is super top tier. At least from what I experienced. Anyway, uh, so with this all out of the way, uh, Serious Sam 4 is out now on I, at least PC, probably other platforms. It's 40 bucks, which may be decent price for what it is. I know these games tend to be a little bit short. It's got full co-op, which is huge. Uh, if you can get some friends to play it with you, I can only imagine how goofy it gets. Uh, for me, I like to play multiplayer, but I might also play it solo for a while. Who knows? Anyway, uh, so at least for this, I, I guess building off of that point, I am definitely going to want to play more of this game. It's just super fun. I don't know if I'm going to do a full series. It really kind of depends on how much you guys want me to play more of this game, because uh, I certainly want to. There's just something really fun and... Do I want to say gratifying or gratuitous? gratuitous flying? I don't know. Yeah, that's a bad word combo, but still. There's just something joyous about mowing through groups and groups of enemies. And especially with the amount of variety that they've immediately presented in the first two hours that I have played. Uh, so I'd like, to, I'd like to put some more time into this uh, when I get the chance. So, I guess with all of that out of the way, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I want to see more. I want to play more. Uh, that should be a good sign of things. So, I guess with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.